Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar. I would first like to introduce our presenters, Kyle Beauchamp, the Associate Vice President of Business Development at World Cinema, John Scott, Regional Sales Manager at Cambium, Jagdish Garimaji, Senior Director of Product Management at Cambium, Brad Sethuraman, VP of Product Management at Cambium, and Karen Pastorino, the Director of Channel Marketing at Cambium. Before we start, I do want to encourage everyone to ask any questions that you may have during the presentation in the questions tab on the control panel. But without further ado, I'll hand it off over to you, John. Awesome. Appreciate it. And thanks, everybody, for joining today. Kyle, thank you for, for being a kind of a special guest. Uh, to kick it off, I want to uh, introduce Cambium Networks. Um, and I'll do that by kind of borrowing a quote that our CEO, a tool, uses quite often. And in that quote is, that if it can't be wireless, it will be. So we, we do everything from, from you know, point to point, point to multi-point networks. We have an awesome portfolio of enterprise products with um, uh, cloud-managed switching, uh, indoor and outdoor Wi-Fi access points. We handle everything from you know, CBRS backhaul to short-range 60 gigahertz solutions. Um, so we, we, we kind of, uh, do a little bit of everything to, to give you a little bit of, a, of, a, of an agenda, you know, speaking of our portfolio, we have an awesome solution, um, that, that really fits well for managed service providers. And, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the tools we have, um, for MSPs and, you know, whether it's, uh, multi-tenancy, additional drill downs, TCO tools, there's a lot of things we bring to the table. Um, that we'll get in a little bit later, but um, uh, without further ado, I'll in introduce Kyle, and uh, Kyle's going to tell us a little bit about uh, World Cinema. Thank you, John. Um, yes, yeah, so so World Cinema is a 45-year-old company uh, based out of Houston, Texas. Uh, we've primarily been operating inside the hospitality space for that that time period, uh, and mostly on the video side. Um, while we have dabbled uh and other verticals uh as well as additional services like managed internet we took a really hard position last year in october of 2020 when we went public with our newest business division called improvix uh and right off the bat we recognized cambium as an emerging partner uh, in this industry and and it's really kind of where everything started uh currently we service roughly about 4200 properties nationwide that's in the united states mexico uh, u.s virgin islands puerto rico and canada um, so roughly about 600,000 guest rooms under management and about 3 million guest encounters on a yearly basis. Awesome. And, and, and you, you, Kyle, y'all started to kind of work with, with, with Cambium on a few projects, um, one, one in particular that we're going to talk about today. But um, I, I want to I discuss a little bit the the approach that World Cinema brings to the table around all things connected, right? Um, obviously, you know, today things are different than they were, you know, four or five years ago when it comes to Wi-Fi, especially in hospitality. You know, now more than ever, uh, folks are are wanting to have an experience that's very similar to the to the one they have at home. Um, what what have you seen, you know, uh, you know, related to the all all things connected? term uh, related to Wi-Fi and that experience uh, at World Cinema? Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a great question, John. And I think you, you know, you mentioned something there about, you know, guests or, you know, residents for that matter, wanting to have, you know, a similar experience that they have at home. It, it used to be kind of the opposite where you went to a, to a hotel and kind of got a, you know, a more technical, technologically advanced experience. And obviously with all the room service and things of that nature, but things have kind of switched with, you know, the advancements in smart homes and things of that nature. But hospitality and, and other verticals as well are, are making you know a very strong push towards connected services, and really that is the approach with World Cinema and our improved exhibition around all things connected. I mean, at first and foremost, we're, we're a group of trusted advisors and, and subject matter experts that have a central focus on that all things connected experience. Uh, we definitely understand how vital it is to stay connected and inside a property, and we offer you know countless end-to-end -end seamless solutions that directly impact a resident or guest experience as well as guest satisfaction, which we all know is very important. But all this is, it begins with a viable and stable inter internet connection. And so, you know, with internet circuits up to a point of demarcation. And we're, we're uniquely positioned with roughly about 200 plus direct carrier relationships and resulting in, in an affordable solution that can meet pretty much all of the property's needs. And then from there, we have a really strong, deep 
product catalog leading with managed wireless and wired solutions. And on top of that, we've also got an improved surveillance solution, cellular boosting technology, digital signage, and a lot more. Very cool, very cool. Um, so to speak to the, the, the project that we recently uh, worked on with World Cinema, I know that this was the, uh, the Stay APT Hotel right. uh, brand um, that, that y'all are um, working with uh, heavily. What were some some of the uh, I guess challenges or, or requirements related to that um, that project? Maybe you can share some details about about this one. Absolutely. So Stay APT or Stay Apt, depending upon how you say it here, is is um, a new emerging extended stay brand, and you know they're strategically positioned in areas throughout the country that are kind of relative to the industrial market. So you know, prime example is one of their newest locations here in Webster, Texas which is really close to NASA, um, is also very close to in industrial refineries, as well as a lot of where the uh, groups of people head offshore to go hit work on their rigs. So they have a, you know, a particular type of uh, individual that they're catering to and understand that, you know, that connected experience because they're spending extended periods of time inside these properties uh, is very, very, very important. You know, they can communicate with their family, they can continue to do, you know, work on their, you know, potential outside ventures on, beyond what they're there for. So, it, it's really important. So Stay APT was, you know, like many of our customers, was looking for a secure and scalable solution that was brand consistent across the portfolio and that would drive brand loyalty. So amidst the, the COVID pandemic, um, you know, this needed to include things like automated check-ins, uh, minimize person-to-person -person interactions, and sometimes in, even after-hour check-ins with no on-site staff. So you can imagine uh, how important a stable, connected experience was and vital to ensure the process floats load smoothly. Uh, but we had to deliver on really four main requirements. So contin uh, consistency across the brand and the user experience, a single source of wireless solution that minimized the complexity, and obviously this is where Cambium came in for us, um, an integrated guest experience with mobile access and app performance as a key indicator, and then a bulk upfront pricing model. So this meant adapting a traditional monthly reoccurring model to an amortized upfront cost model. And then all of this had to fit within a budget that met the standards of an affordable suite hotel brand. Um, you know, it was at this point that we really realized that Cambium was the right partner. Coupled with our Improvix network solutions and our Improvix gateways powered by Sonora and RxG, uh, this solution, solution really focuses heavily on the seamless guest authentication and then monetization of the network to increase the return on investment for, say, APT. Uh, so, you know, combining all those solutions or all those different partners together and those technology solutions really helped us drive this initiative. So in a market that has so many differentiators between competitors, you know, Scambium really helped World Cinema deliver on a network solution that was high performing technology. Uh, and we were able to partner with a group of individuals inside of Cambium who really understood what our clients and goals and needs were and allowed World Cinema to be flexible and complete a solution at the lowest total cost of ownership. And this didn't come, you know, without us making sure we were optimizing the performance. And we really operate as one. You know, World Cinema and Cambium is really clear from the start in all of our deployments that this was a unified partnership. And uh, it's been great up to this day. I expect great things in the future as well. Awesome, awesome. So getting back to the user experience, um, uh, how do you think, how do you feel that's changed again, again over time? I mean, I know you guys do a lot outside of hospitality with, you know, student housing, multi-dwelling units. Right. People today um, are, 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 there's no shame in, in complaining if, if the Wi-Fi doesn't work well, right? So it's it's right. definitely difficult to have an enterprise uh, uh, solution uh, compared to, like you said, what it was like maybe 10 years ago or so. Right. No, that's that's a really great point. I mean, I think, you know, especially anybody who operates, you know, any business or does any business in the hospitality industry, they understand how vital, um, you know, internet is, specifically Wi-Fi. It's by far probably, you know, the most complained about or the most, you know, highly spoken about service or solution offered inside of a hotel. Um, you know, connected experiences are, are, are they're going to continue to involve inside all the verticals, like you mentioned, and with hospitality, student housing, MDU, and, and beyond. But guests really want a consistent and seamless connected solution that recognizes their preferences and makes it easy, easy to easy to connect. So, 
what we're really seeing in the future is a shift towards more brand loyalty that provides the same experience across a multitude of properties and states. So this would include features like auto check-in, so as a guest enters into a property, it's recognized on the Wi-Fi and automatically check, checks them in through the application. It sets auto desired room temperatures associated with that. Uh, it has catered channel lineups, so you're not going into the typical 50 to multiple 100 channel lineup. You've got your first 10 channels that they know you watch right away on there. Um, and it's really all focused around brand loyalty, which results in guest that a higher level of guest satisfaction, and obviously increased revenue for all of our clients. Um, so it's really about understanding how connectivity drives brand loyalty. And honestly, it's recognition of that guest the moment they hit the floor inside of a property. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, very cool. Very cool. So this, this will give us a good chance for, for you to maybe talk a little and dig a little deeper into some of the other things that, that World Seminar brings to the table um, as far as the, the full solution. Sure, absolutely. Uh, so as I mentioned, you know, in the start of this call, World Cinema uh, primarily operated in the video side of the business. We are the largest reseller of dish in the country. Um, but alongside of that, we have a proprietary product called Worldview. And this is a custom user interface and set-top box or server-driven solution that basically brands a TV, gives an interactive programming guide, a digital compendium. So we get rid of all that in-room collateral, weather features, restaurant menus, um, interacting with smart room features, interacting with the front desk, a lot of really great features. And obviously with the immersion of COVID and things of that nature, we have you know, web remote capabilities and, and several other options that basically limit the person-to-person -person interaction or the desire for a guest to have that person-to-person -person interaction. Um, and then of course that includes things like our housekeeping application and then in-room monitoring and controls and of course our casting solutions. Um, and then as we kind of make that curve back around, we focus into our connectivity side. And one of the things that's really important about this team is that we, we are a technical project management group and architecture group. So we really start at the ground floor through technical and architecture design, network design and implementation, and then going in with structured cabling and low voltage. Um, from there, we really kind of the Improvix product catalog, which as I mentioned earlier, focuses heavily on that managed wireless and wired solution um, comes with a plethora of application-based connected solutions. So building intelligence. So if we're monitoring HVAC and power consumption inside of a property, and the real focus around that is data-driven analytics that come back to you know a manager or ownership group that really show them the areas to make adjustments to to basically conserve more energy and obviously you know save a little bit of money. So we'll basically drive analytics back to them. And just as kind of a really rough, short example, you know, a GM can log on in the morning or a chief engineer of a property can log on in the morning, see that they're at 80% occupancy, take those 20% of those rooms, shut the power off, turn the air up. Now, what will happen is our analytics will drive some data back to them and say, hey, listen, we recognize during the month of May that, you know, a 10 degree increase in your AC costs you more money to get it back down to the desired temperature temperature and we recommend you going up, you know, six degrees or whatever it may be. So some of those things, and of course, as I mentioned once, once before already, the managed Wi-Fi services, our improving surveillance solutions, our cellular boosting solutions. So this is really where we kind of go into a property or building area that has poor cellular coverage. It's very important for obviously safety, but it's very important for a guest satisfaction standpoint. And then we also have our digital signage line. So that really kind of rounds out our our in-room entertainment and connectivity. And we're really, you know, if there's a screen, if there's something connected to the internet, we have our hands on it. Yeah, very, uh, very cool. As you mentioned, you know, the, the everything connected with IoT and I mean, it's all about the data, right? And so we're gonna, I, I really think we're, we're gonna continue to see more and more things that, you know, connect over, over, the, over the Wi-Fi for sure. Well, you um, make a good point too, right? Because I think, you know, it, it hit a point where, IoT or smart room features for that matter were like the emerging thing. It was it was the new thing to have. And then it kind of came to a point where, well, it's just a must have. And, and Wi-Fi has gone through that evolution, evolution too, where, you know, free Wi-Fi is just part of being there. Um, what we're finding now is it's more around driving, you know, the data behind that stuff to really ensure that you're utilizing that type of hardware or those, those connected experiences to the to the best value. 
It's all, it's all about efficiency. So yes, sir, it is. A, a little bit about, you know, um, your process and, I, I, and and Rad and Jagdish, feel free to ask questions on this piece, but it's really, there's so much importance around what I call the design, deploy and validation steps. Mm -hmm. when, when you, when you starting with, when you first meet with a property, um, whether it's a, a hotel group or, or an MDU, student housing, university, maybe you can share a little bit about, about your, your process there. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, this is very, a lot of what we do is very pre-sale focused as well, right? So we have a group of uh, dedicated engineers and architects and project managers that focus heavy in on a pre-sales opportunities to make sure that we're doing our due diligence through you know, all the different platforms that we all kind of know or needed in order to, you know, deliver on a, an exceptional network design. But with each property starts a comprehensive consultation, including uh, completed low voltage and network design. And this is always a multi-team effort and we deliver with transparency and consistency with a very high level of technical acumen. Uh, we, we treat we treat our customers as partners and, and uh, we're in it with them equally as much as they are. So from there, we actually develop and present accurate blueprinting and then predictive mapping that we can kind of create that completely connected experience and, and show the visuals associated with that. Uh, then from there, we, we meticulously stage and pre provision all of our hardware inside of our improved lab. And then all of our gear ships out to a property ready to install. So basically almost plug and play uh, in that sense. And then after all the staging is complete and the installation is complete, uh, we follow up with both corporate and on-site training for all the staff members. So this really kind of ensures that there's an ease of use, there's proper authentications, we've lined out all the support pathways, and they exactly know who they need to go to. Um, uh, but, you know, in, in addition to that, we, we also deploy, you know, really highly secure features and integrate virtual and physical security into our overall solution. So this really results in a, in a position, position our clients as an emerging leader inside of their industry and offering what we believe to be the best in-room entertainment and connected options in the market. Very cool. I, I, I want to hit on the staging piece, and that's I know we, you and I talked uh, recently about, you know, with with Cambium seeing seeing Maestro cloud management, just how easy it is to achieve faster time to revenue based on the the plug and play experience of being able to you know provision. Right. You don't have uh, you know there's you don't have the extra time of you know, uh, uh, programming switch ports and, 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 and APs, you know, one by one, um, that, that's critical, right? Time, time is, time is money. And, and you get the benefits of, you know, extended visibility for your, for your knock, you know, for managing these, these properties as well. That's, that's very true, John. And I think, uh, I know you've seen it in action. We've seen it in action. I mean, this, this means something to you. It may not mean a lot to some of the other people on the phone because they don't know me, but you know, if, if, I feel if I can go in and do it, that tells you that, you know, the way this is built and structured, um, it, it's very ease of use. And it, it's, for lack of better terms, it's almost dummy proof. It, it really helps solidify a deployment and, and uh, a provisioning of hardware so that we can really go on site and execute the way we need to. Awesome. Yeah, big, big piece of that, uh, lowering that T TCO for sure. Absolutely. Last slide. I want to really, you know, you just it really boils down to it. At the end of the day, it's it's about the you know the outcomes, right, or the business outcomes, and what the uh, right the uh, what the hotel chain or again the, the student in the in the in the dorm or 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 multi dwelling units. It's, it's about the experience. Uh, again, people aren't shy when it doesn't work well. So um, um, these are just some great examples of of what what you get. You know. Um, as an end result. Agreed. Brad, if you're on the line, did you have any, any questions or, or Jagdish related to um, for, for Kyle before we hand it over to the discussion around our uh, our MSP program? Yeah, yeah Kyle, I, I had one question in terms of uh, commercially, how are things evolving uh, in, in the space? So the, the it is uh, more of a uh, customers pay upfront uh, for the whole deployment. Uh, you guys do more of a um, monthly billing type of a, a, a model. Uh, how does the commercials typically work out? That's a, a great question. You know, I think it, it is it is it depends a lot upon the situation, but 
because of what we consider Cambium to be a very high performing, lowest TCO option, you know, it, we, we put it hand to hand with everybody else out there. And so when we show, you know, let's say some of those, you know, one or two, you know, popular brands inside of hospitality associated to Wi-Fi hardware, and we put a bill of materials together and a price point, and then we put a Cambium bill of materials and a price point together, and we say, look, the performance is the same, the results are the same, the, 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 the signal strength is the same, but the price point is, is much different. Um, it really starts to shed light onto, you know, what else is out there as an option. Um, and so depending upon the structure of the particular property, um, obviously budgets are really important. Um, it depends. We, we, we generally find two models that are most common. One's going to be our pure MSP model, uh, where we owe the hardware and it's essentially, a, a, you know, a minimal uh, leasing fee associated to the hardware. And then the second one is, is an, a full upfront model. And we start to see a lot more of an upfront model uh, due to, obviously, as I mentioned, the, the, the TCO. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Generally uncommon in this space, you know, considering. But I, I think what's really, you know, one thing that I, I want to make sure that, you know, I think is very critical to the part of the customer experience and user experience that we talked about is, really is the success of a brand is, is the utmost importance to world cinema and, and the improved connected experience. So we really build out all of our connected solutions with proactive and remote monitoring. And so this includes the key performance indicators that alert our customer care center and our knock of any service issues in most cases, long before a guest or even a front desk knows what's going on. So if you couple this with our 24 seven, 365 in-house support team, we don't only support the property, but we also support the guests and their connected solution needs. So we stay engaged from the day we're on site to the day, you know, we're no longer contracted with the property. And I think that's really what drives the uh, the, the world cinema Improvix and Cambium solutions to all of our current customers. What keeps them around, I guess, for sure. Awesome, awesome. Well, Kai, I appreciate the, uh... The, the feedback it's uh, been been great to have you on the call um My pleasure I, I think we're going to talk a little bit now about our 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 cambium uh, msp program so i'm gonna i'm gonna hand it over uh to rad and jagdish on, on the uh for this this piece here sure thanks kyle and thanks uh, john i think a lot of things that kyle has talked about kind of set the stage for really what is uh, important considerations uh from a solution standpoint right and from uh from a campaign perspective you know the first and foremost uh, talk about the price and performance uh, functionality right so both were uh, came out as important considerations here and kyle you talked about video uh, increased use of video uh, high density is, is common when a guest arrives with a family, you know, there's probably 20 devices connected to the Wi-Fi network. So that solution we deploy need to have a performance headroom, right? Um, so, and typically even within a, a, within a property, one size doesn't fit all and certainly across many segments, right? There are multiple needs for different areas. So we, we we take a very right-sized approach that comes down to both from a uh, how we build our access points, um, but also how do we do the commercials on the product. So we have a freemium uh, cloud solution, very feature rich and maestro, um, but it, it has the, the the right tool for the right uh, type of use case. Um, you know, feature-rich cloud that has advanced features that is uh, subscription-based, and then there's a it's a, a cloud offer that is also uh, free of cost. Uh, Kyle touched on a lot about you know, end of the day when you're trying to deliver client services, it's about the Wi-Fi network is more than connectivity, right? It's it's a platform for de delivering business-critical services. Uh, you know, client experiences, everything in Wi-Fi is great. You know, one of the key elements of what impacts client experience and hospitality uh, so certainly a lot of emphasis there in terms of uh, api functionality how do we get notifications out to make sure that you know cal talks about proactive management and making sure that you're uh, aware of any issues before the, the users see it 
uh, the system needs to be smart enough to kind of deliver those kind of capabilities. Um, and then we focus a lot on TCO, right? It's it's uh, TCO applies both from from the, this capex spend in terms of the the hardware elements. I love the quote, Kyle, in terms of hey, it meets all the requirements, but it's significantly lower price point. Why not? Um, but at the same time, it's also things like zero touch experiences that simplifies operations. So a lot of times the ongoing uh, management of a network is a lot more expensive proposition than actually the initial upfront deployment. If it's going to necessitate you to send people on site, especially when you're trying to do a distributed network uh, with no IT expertise necessarily at every site, how do we do remote troubleshooting? How do we do simpler deployments? How do you do error-free deployments? Things like that, um, you know, all contributes to it. So what we that approach we took is to some extent you know uh, customers hear this type of uh, propositions from many people right so there is an element of uh, what is sure to me and we took that approach both from a performance standpoint um, we did a third party benchmarking testing of our uh, wi-fi six access points against some of the major vendors and there is a report out there i shared the link down there I'll share a couple of nuggets from that in the next couple of slides on the performance angle. The other piece is the uh, very something that is very unique, where even uh, you know, our, when you talk to the some of the analysts like Gartner, they talk about this and say, "Hey, you guys have really done a good job of quantifying this." This is a tool that is designed for partners. This is an online tool, and you can actually start to build comparisons. Uh, you know, your customer, when you're working with your customer, they may actually know uh, what they, what the terms and conditions they are looking at for, for an existing solution or another vendor they're considering. Um, here we can actually dial up a competitive um, solution against a Cambium solution. You can create a formal report uh, that you can use in the proposal back to the client. So really starts to then quantify at great level of detail. There's a very quick and dirty thing calculation, calculation you can do, or you can go down and uh, dial up certain more details and, and construct a more uh, uh, a refined view. Uh, so certainly if you've not uh, checked it out or using it, I will encourage you to take a look at that. The, the link again at the bottom there. Uh, you, you can register, it's a free tool, it's online, um, and you can, you can build your own um, comparisons there so this is this are ways in which they this is a proposition and this is how we kind of quantify uh that there is uh, more to it than just uh you know simple statements so a couple of uh details on the on the next slide uh here so one is on the you know this this report compared from a there are multiple comparisons one was just upstream downstream performance what i'm showing here is a price performance curve right and we compared against the, the models listed here from Aruba, Meraki, and Rakshas. And you can see clearly from a price performance perspective, uh, you know, we, we had a, a very strong performance on this, on, this, on this comparison. Again, the full report is available uh, at the link there. And, you know, we also, these are tests that you can, you know, somebody so chooses to can actually replicate uh, in their own labs. And, and the next slide again uh, talks to, the, the the TCO as part of this report, they also did the TCO comparison, uh, both for our uh, higher end eight by eight Wi-Fi six AP um, and our uh, lower end uh, XV two dash two two by two AP. Right uh, on the eight by eight, especially we do a lot of innovation from the why we do able to deliver better performance is uh, at Cambium, you know, like what um, John said earlier we are uh, all wireless, right? So there's a lot of uh, inherent exper expertise and RF excellence uh, in the teams here. And we leverage it to the full extent in terms of uh, doing the front-end design, uh, in terms of doing our own antenna designs, et cetera. But also uh, some innovative software features like software-defined radios where we can uh, you know, dial up the, the AP in ways that if you want more five gigahertz capacity, for example, you can turn the radio from a, you know, you can operate in dual mode, things to that that also helps to optimize the network for the type of clients that you have and the type of uh, uh, high density requirements that you have. So all of these have uh, really helped quantify that. 
Um, moving, moving on to the next one, just a quick look at our portfolio, right? So first, when we think about, and I talked about rice sites portfolio, we, we start with, you know, what are the segments that we serve and, you know, from hotel rooms, in-room coverage, uh, to all the way to a, uh, a convention center, high density, uh, high ceiling environment. Uh, you know, we, we kind of have to have the right type of uh, solutions for all of that. So, so that translates to a fairly wide portfolio of both uh, Wi-Fi and uh, access points as well as uh, switching products, right? On the Wi-Fi side, we have uh, wall plate APs to, for in-room coverage to Wi-Fi 6. Uh, the, the product I showed, and there is a very strong roadmap of products coming up uh, in the next six months here. And we also completed the acquisition of uh, Zeris about a couple of years ago. Um, Zeris made their kind of stripes doing high density, really high density multi-radio designs. And that becomes very critical, right? As you look forward to what's happening with Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi 6C is around the corner where now there is six gigahertz uh, opened up and there are a lot more spectrum available, but also it means now, now we are to start to doing coverage in 2.4, 5 and 6 gigahertz, really multi-radio designs that you've been doing all along uh, will come to be kind of the mainstay, if you will, uh, moving forward. On the switching side, right, we, we, we looked at, when we did switches, our goal was to say, uh, how do we make, end of the day, an access points homes into a switch, the switch is the backbone of the network, but how do we make that holistic experience to the access layer, Wi-Fi and switching? So. How can the switches play nicely with uh, with Wi-Fi? So when you connect the Cambium access point to the to the point that uh, Kyle made earlier, that hey, zero touch experience is very uh, very critical. I mean, if you can get this network up and running very smoothly, there are ongoing moves and ads and changes in the network, all of them happening very seamlessly. That translates to reduction in operating expenses, right? So there are a few things that we do on our switches. One is we had a common, of course, the common management, the CN Maestro or XMS. XMS was uh, came from our Zeris acquisition. We also have a mobile app. So if it's simpler networks and you just want to use a mobile app, that's also there. So it's a common experience from a management standpoint. But the real uh, sort of the benefits that comes along is something we call policy-based automation, right? Where the switch can actually profile when a device connects to the switchboard it profiles the device and there's a predefined policy that applies to that switch port to configure it. So for example, if it's a Cambium Wi-Fi access point that connects to the network, that access point may have two different wireless LANs and it may have a certain VLANs that needs to be defined. All of that is defined in CN Maestro, right? That information is now passed on to the switch when it says, hey, wait a second, I saw this XP2 access point and it's, it's gonna be connecting here in this part of the network. So it automatically configures that switch port to, for the VLANs, the quas settings you may need uh, to support that access point. So very seamless. It takes away a lot of manual configuration that is needed. It also takes away, for that matter, you know, you don't have to predefine color code your switch ports and say you connect your Wi-Fi access points only to the first four ports, for example. What happens if somebody accidentally connects to the seventh port on that switch, right? So for us, we take away all of that stuff out and say, you know what, a port is a port is a port. If an AP connects there, just con configure that port. I know it's an AP, configure that port for that access point. Same thing for a video camera or other devices. So a customer may have, in, you know, when you looked at hospitality and talk about IoT devices coming in, some of them are wired devices connecting to the network. The, you know, the partner customer can set their own policy in CN Maestro for, hey, I have this brand of video camera, I'm going to set it up, right? You can set up a very simple way to create a rule uh, and a policy for that. So the next time you connect that camera, it automatically gets configured. And it's super critical, right? When, when changes are happening, somebody goes into the closet and connects a new device, a new printer, a new POS. Set. Or what have you. Uh, you don't want a uh, human error, and this is often stated, right? Uh, human error is oftentimes uh, a biggest cause of, uh, you know, network outage, especially when there are changes happening in the network. So kind of take a lot of those things away from my policy-based automation. So really, when you look at it holistically, right product for right segment, 
right set of product set and capabilities wired and wireless working together nicely a simple easy to use cloud management that can be deployed on premises as well and wrap around with the with the tight economics to, to go along with it so that in a nutshell is is the, is the portfolio play I'll, I'll touch a little bit more on the APs uh, and the and the cloud management but first I wanted to start with uh, you know when you look at hospitality and it can be this can be any one of those things just on the right like hotel rooms to multi dwelling units to student housing uh, to all the way to even you know shopping malls you know you're, you're talking to a shopping mall operator but they look at this almost like an MDU because they have Obviously, they are anchor tenants, a big uh, uh, big box stores that have their own network. But there are a lot of smaller businesses in the in the uh, in the mall, and the operator wants to deliver that as a managed service, so that uh, every every little uh, store doesn't have to have their one Wi-Fi access point, which is also a problem because it gets very really noisy in terms of RF and too many uh, SSIDs in the in the in the in the area. So the RF is not clear if they're managing the whole network and they can also run it as, a, as an MDU uh, property in that instance. So a lot of different segments that get serviced. But if I look at, you know, this is a, you know, if you take a hotel type of a property, for example, they have, you know, you need in-room coverage, you need wall plate APs, you may have, you know, the lobby areas that are probably not necessarily high density, you can put a cost-effective XP2 AP there. And then there are conference centers, uh, where high density is is important meeting rooms so there it can be an xv3 8 access point which is designed for high density um, increasingly we start to see then the uh, more of outdoor you know extend that network out to the pool area if it's outdoor it's a resort type of environment these are a little bit spread out how do we connect that with you know we have uh, can be a fixed wireless also playing a role there our, our 60 gigahertz solution kind of giving you high speed interconnect for the for the whole network across the board and xv2-2t this is a new product that is coming up in the next month um, giving you a little bit of a preview here uh, that's an outdoor wi-fi 6 access point and then ultimately all of this entire indoor outdoor networks converges onto the, onto the cambium cn matrix line of switches managed through cn maestro so this is kind of a Typical, we've seen a lot of these type of deployments in hospitality uh, using that uh, can be a product portfolio. Um, touch a little bit on the next slide uh, on the uh, the benefits that we bring to the table from a from a cloud uh, management perspective. Right, CN Maestro X uh, is the is a solution that is really optimized for uh, MSP experience, uh, and we do see that in 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 hotels. It's a lot of times we do see it's a managed in hospitality. It's a managed Wi-Fi uh, is is predominantly what's being used here. Um, first and foremost, it's a multi-tenant cloud architecture. So what that gives you um, is a sort of the persona-based dashboards, right? Where MSP can you know you may have multiple tenants, multiple clients you work with, and you can see all of the client networks aggregated on a single view. At the same time, the individual clients, individual tenants will have their own version of their cloud. Uh, or, so they, uh, sorry, own version of their dashboard. So they can see their network. They can maybe make some changes if you allow them to uh, to that network. And by the same time, there is also this persona based dashboard also allows the MSP to brand it. So the customer facing, the client facing dashboard can be branded with your own uh, uh, branding. So that gives you some flexibility. Um, in addition, we talked about this, you know, flexible deployment option. It can be SaaS model, right? It's just a Cambium cloud. Uh, this could be a, a, an on-premise deployment, or it could be in your own Amazon instance as a private cloud deployment. Some advanced capabilities, right? Very, very relevant for uh, things like MDU is the scalability on uh, uh, EPS case. So, um, you know, we, we, we have really extended this to 1028. So this allows people to now uh, create, uh, you know, be it IoT devices or client devices, uh, having this uh, EPSK functionality allows them to extend their uh, uh, network to a, to a broader, uh, bigger size scalable network. Uh, MAC authentication bypass, another feature that we have seen for 
sort of some kind of the headless operations you may sometimes need for a IoT type devices. So some advanced features they specifically dedicated, and we we hear this a lot, right? When we talk to some some of your partners, uh, these questions come up, these specific uh, features that come up. So that's why I kind of highlighted them on on this slide. Um, Kyle touched on this, right? It's like, hey, we uh, how do we how do we make our support staff smarter? How do we get ahead of the problem? How do we know that the customer is potentially going to have an issue before they experience it? Right, so this is like doing root cause analysis um, and giving you tools to do from packet captures. If you want to do some deep, deep, more deep, deep down uh, troubleshooting, all of them can be done remotely from the cloud dashboard. In addition, for MSPs, one of the offer that we do is an accelerated access to level three support. So you can cut through the chain and get to the experts very quickly uh, if there is issues that require Cambium help to to support for personal to look at um there are other things that we've done i mean the the automation api you know the cloud analytics obviously now we get more extended data uh, on the cloud but they i want to touch a little bit more on the apis and webhooks right this is very uh, very powerful capabilities uh api is very very simple to use we have a swagger doc documentation so somebody doesn't need to be a uh, a program, right? It, it, it's almost the interface and the documentation, which is online uh, in the part of the tool itself, part of the uh, cloud dashboard. You can start to experience how the APIs will work, uh, including getting uh, how to use that uh, API, create a custom script to kind of start using that. So uh, very easy to use if you are doing your own, but it's also easy to deploy with you know, third-party solutions uh, and integrate tightly with those uh, with those solutions. And the last part I want to touch on is webhooks capability, where you get real-time notification, and this becomes really important when when you when you have uh, when you want the system, when you want the platform to be a messaging system. Tell tell me when something is happening, right? And this goes to proactive support, and this webhooks allows you to do out of the box integration. It, works automatically with some of the popular web services out there like page duty or if you're using things like slack or teams uh, just getting a notification on the channel that that certain things happen and that i took action right and this could be in, in somebody locally change a configuration and it's changed from your master configuration then the system can revert back to that last known configuration and notify you saying hey i saw this change happen i took action Here's a quick uh, message to you, right? In any one of these uh, through web, web services out there. So ultimately, that's the that's a focus here of what we've done with CNMI through X for MSPs is to how do we deliver an awesome end-to-end -end experience for MSPs? How do we really make it efficient, operationally uh, efficient, and reduce the cost of running this network, right? So that's a quick hit on on the on the on the on the solution side and i will hand it over to karen and 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 jagdish for the for the uh, look talk about the program itself thanks rad so we're going to talk about our connected partner program but in particular a new program we have is specifically for managed service providers so why would you want to join the managed service provider program within our partner program well first of all you get upfront compelling pricing allows you to maximize your profitability without having to do deal registration. So it's really easy to get the pricing you need to um, offer your services to your clients. And then we offer an enhanced technical assistance experience for you. And we also have lots of other program benefits, which we'll go through in the next slides. But first, how, um, how do you know if you qualify as an MSP? I'll ask Jagdish to um, go through some of this information here with you. Sure. Um, so there's uh, basically a, a bunch of questions, right? So one is you have to be, you have to have a current uh, managed services offer, which means uh, a recurring revenue stream, right? It could be monthly, quarterly, or annual subscription, and you could be offering Wi-Fi as a service or switching as a service, uh, but you have to have a managed services offer. Uh, you also need to have a call center. Uh, that's that's for 24 by 7 support. 
uh, and level two, level one, tier one, tier two support. Uh, so th those are some of the basics. And then of course, level three or tier three support would come from Cambium, but we expect that you have level one, level two. Um, and then the final point is you also need, uh, we, we require that you have a network operation center, a NOC. Right. So the, those these are uh, these are the basic qualifiers, if you will, to to sort of get into the MSP program. Um, Karen. Yes, thank you. And so in more detail, the requirements of this particular program is that you first are a connected partner. So you'd apply for our program online, become a connected partner, and then you can apply for the specialty program for MSPs. And once you're approved, then just like Jagdish said, you'd have to have a knock, you'd have to have some of those things that he just talked about. We have an agreement with you as an MSP for this program in terms and conditions. And as mentioned, provide level one, two support and escalate only for level three support. And then we also have some certification requirements for the MSP program. So we would want you to have certifications in CM Maestro X, CN Matrix switching, and our sales solution primer, which is optional. And I want to mention that all virtual training and certification exams are free to connect to partners. So it, these are at no cost to you and um, lots of uh, training resources available on our online learning system. And then um, Jagdish also mentioned the minimum rev recurring revenue requirements. But moving into more importantly, the benefits of this program. So you'll get exceptional ROI because as I mentioned, you're gonna get upfront pri pricing um, discounted on our enterprise products, which are listed there on the right under the picture. And then there's two levels to the program. So once you reach a certain spend on these enterprise products, you move up to the MSP plus level and you get even a higher discount on CN Maestro X, which is shown in the little chart on the left. The hardware pricing is a flat discount in both levels, but CN Maestro X pricing does go up about 10 points if you move up to the MSP plus level. Additionally, you'll get all of the benefits from the Connected Partner Program for any other products in our uh, portfolio including hardware, software, renewals, et cetera. So more benefits would include uh, pre-approved pricing and no deal reg, which is, is a big point I want to stress with you. I've said it a couple of times, but it, it really just makes it easy to do business with us and to offer your services easily to your clients. Um, as mentioned earlier, the escalated technical support. And we have some um, other um, grace period benefits, so we'll expand the grace period for activ activation of subscriptions to 60 days and also more time to activate support or cloud subscriptions. I mentioned the deeper discount on CM Maestro X, which goes higher if you move up in the program. And then we also have that NFR program, not for resale. Lots of demo gear there at substantial discounts for you to try and um, demonstrate the products with your clients. Um, you do also have access, um, access to dealer registration for non-MSP applications. So uh, for other type of business you're doing, you still can use deal registration, but it's not required for your MSP applications. And then we'll, um, we're looking into having a hardware leasing program targeted um, in the second half of 2021. And then in CM Maestro X, Rad had mentioned there's this MSP dashboard that offers uh, lots more uh, services to MSPs. Additionally, we'll have an MSP advisory forum, so you'll get early access to our product roadmaps, um, features, etc. I mentioned the free online sales and technical certification training, and also the certification exams are free to partners as well. We'll pass along qualified leads, and we have a huge robust partner portal that offers co-brandable collateral, co-brandable email templates, lots of marketing and sales resources and more. And then we do have a market development funds program to help offset costs of marketing activities you're doing on behalf of Cambium. So Jagdish, uh, if I missed anything, feel free to jump in. Otherwise I'll go into how to apply for our program. I think you're good, uh, Ken. Okay, great, thanks. So it's simple to apply for partnership. If you're not already a connected partner, just either go to our website and click partners in the top right corner or go directly to channel.cambiumnetworks.com. You'll request an account, please use your work email address. 
And then once approved, you'll log into the partner portal, which is this picture on the left, and then you'll go to a playbook which is a menu option on the left side of the portal, and click into Specialty Vertical Market Programs where you can apply for the MSP portion of our program. Additionally, I wanted to provide this slide, which offers some resources from our guest speaker, World Cinema. Kyle, thanks so much, and John, thank you for all of that great information on your success story. So here's World Cinema's website. They have a case study on this very topic that we talked about today that you can download a blog and a video on it. So lots of great resources for you. And then for Cambium, our website, we have a uh, flyer on the MSP program, which goes into everything I talked about in more detail. And then again, to apply for partnership, channel.cambiumnetworks.com. And if you're an existing connected partner already, simply just log into the portal and go to that specialty vertical market playbook to apply for the MSP program. And so Riley, I think that's it. All right, awesome. Thank you so much, Kyle, for being with us today and sharing your insight. And thank you, John, Rad, Jagdish, and Karen for the helpful information about the MSP program. I also wanna thank everyone in the audience for joining us today. We will be sending out a recording of the webinar to all attendees shortly, so be on the lookout for that. But until then, enjoy the rest of your day.